It seems like decades, but it really wasn't that long ago that high-definition television came on the market. For a while, it was hard to find any programming on TV broadcast in HD. Now it's everywhere. It's about to become old news. 3D could soon be coming to television near you, but is 3D TV worth all the hype? KXY 4's Melissa Luck answers that in tonight's Good Question. This weekend, moviegoers paid $27 million to see the brand new Clash of the Titans. What most of them saw was much cooler than this. They put on the nerdy glasses and watched this movie in 3D. Someone has stolen Sweet My Child! From Alice in Wonderland on down the line, 3D movies have accounted for 33% of movie theater revenue this year. So there's only one logical next step, right? I hear a lot, well... Am I going to be able to watch this without glasses anytime soon? Maybe that's getting a little ahead of ourselves, but Brett Stuper from Huppins is showing us what is already here. 3D TV, ready to buy right now. It has only been about a week and a half or so we have been selling them, but we've sold a few. Uh, people are very interested. I had to see it for myself, and though it's hard to show you with our broadcast cameras, I can tell you it's really cool. The depth is similar to what you saw in Avatar though it will cost you a lot more than a $13 movie ticket. The average 3D TV will cost about $3,000. You also need a source, like a 3D Blu-ray player, which will run you about $350. And you have to buy the glasses separately, which cost more than 100 bucks a pair. The bigger question, what can you watch? Right now, not much. The Monsters and Aliens Blu-ray and a handful of others. More movies will come out in 3D before the end of the year, but not many. And as for regular TV? Every network, pretty much, is talking about supplying some kind of 3D content. I imagine initially it's going to be like high definition, was it, when it first came out, you know, sporadic. But uh, this has already moved much faster than the introduction of high definition did. So Comcast showed portions of the Masters on 3D this weekend, just two hours each day. ESPN 3D is expected to launch this summer, promising 85 3D broadcasts this year, beginning with the World Cup in June. And how long before you hear KXLY4 3D news? I wouldn't hold your breath. And keep in mind, stereo blindness means 5 to 10 percent of the population can't even see 3D. The good news, like all technology, the options will eventually go up and the price will go down. By that time, you may be seeing all of us as if we were sitting beside you in your living room. With this good question, I'm Melissa Luck, KXLY4 HD News. We love to know what you're wondering about. No subject is off limits. Just send your questions to goodquestion at kxoy.com.